Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Today, we are diving into an important topic. Don't get fooled as a Muslim. Five signs you are dealing with an evil person. In our daily lives, we encounter many people, and it's crucial to recognize those who may not have good intentions towards us. By understanding these signs, we can protect ourselves and stay true to the path of righteousness. So, let's discuss how to identify these negative traits through the wisdom of Islam and ensure we are surrounding ourselves with good company. Stay tuned and may Allah guide us all. Deception and Lies In Islam, honesty and truthfulness are highly valued traits and deception is strongly condemned. When dealing with an evil person, one of the most telling signs is their tendency to deceive and lie. Such individuals often manipulate the truth to serve their own purposes, showing a blatant disregard for the harm their falsehoods may cause others. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, emphasized the importance of honesty in numerous hadiths. For example, he said, truthfulness leads to righteousness and righteousness leads to paradise. And a man keeps on telling the truth until he becomes a truthful person. Falsehood leads to wickedness and wickedness leads to the hellfire. And a man may keep on telling lies until he is written down as a liar before Allah. Sahih Bukhari. This hadith highlights the spiritual danger of lying and deception, illustrating how these behaviors can lead one away from the path of righteousness. An evil person may use deception to manipulate situations and people to their advantage. They might spread false information, create conflicts, or falsely accuse others to undermine their reputation. This behavior not only breaks the trust that should exist between people, but also sows discord within the community, which is strongly discouraged in Islam. Allah says in the Quran, Indeed, Allah does not like those who are self-deluding and boastful. Surah An-Nisa 436. Furthermore, such individuals often lack the sense of guilt or remorse that comes with lying. They may justify their deceitful actions, claiming they are necessary or harmless, when in reality they cause significant harm and lead to the erosion of trust and integrity within relationships. This consistent pattern of dishonesty is a clear indication of a person's evil nature and their distance from Islamic principles. In conclusion, recognizing deception and lies as a primary sign of dealing with an evil person is crucial for Muslims. By being aware of this behavior and remembering the importance of truthfulness in Islam, we can protect ourselves and ensure that we surround ourselves with people who uphold the values of honesty and integrity. May Allah guide us to always speak the truth and keep us away from those who engage in deceit. Manipulative behavior. Manipulative behavior is another significant sign of dealing with an evil person. Such individuals often employ cunning tactics to influence and control others for their own benefit, disregarding the well-being and autonomy of those they manipulate. This behavior is in direct contradiction to Islamic teachings, which emphasize justice, fairness, and respect for others. Manipulation involves using deceitful and indirect tactics to achieve one's goals. This can include emotional manipulation, such as guilt-tripping, playing the victim, or using flattery to gain favor. An evil person might also exploit others' weaknesses or vulnerabilities to control their actions and decisions. These manipulative strategies are designed to benefit the manipulator while leaving the victim feeling confused, powerless and often guilty. Islam teaches us to deal with each other with sincerity and honesty. The Quran instructs believers to stand out firmly for justice as witnesses to Allah, even as against yourselves or your parents or your kin. Surah An-Nisa 4135 Manipulative behavior stands in stark contrast to this principle as it seeks to distort the truth and exploit others for personal gain. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 
also warned against manipulative and deceitful practices. He said, the signs of a hypocrite are three. Whenever he speaks, he tells a lie. Whenever he promises, he breaks it. And whenever he is entrusted, he betrays. Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. Manipulative people often exhibit these traits as they lie to achieve their goals, break promises when it suits them, and betray the trust of those they manipulate. One of the most harmful aspects of manipulative behavior is its impact on relationships. Trust is the foundation of any healthy relationship, and manipulation erodes this trust. When someone constantly manipulates others, it creates an environment of suspicion and insecurity. Victims of manipulation may find it challenging to trust others in the future, leading to strained and dysfunctional relationships. In addition, manipulative behavior can have severe emotional and psychological effects on victims. They may experience feelings of self-doubt, anxiety, and depression due to the constant pressure and control exerted by the manipulator. This not only affects their mental health, but also their ability to function effectively in other areas of their lives. In summary, recognizing manipulative behavior is essential in identifying an evil person. Islam encourages us to treat each other with honesty, respect, and fairness values that are completely at odds with manipulation. By being aware of these behaviors and standing firm in our principles, we can protect ourselves from those who seek to exploit and control us. May Allah grant us the wisdom to see through manipulation and the strength to uphold justice and integrity in all our dealings. Lack of empathy. A lack of empathy is a profound indicator that one is dealing with an evil person. Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of another, is a core value in Islam, promoting compassion, mercy, and kindness towards others. When someone consistently demonstrates a lack of empathy, it reveals a deep-seated selfishness and disregard for the well-being of others. Empathy is crucial for fostering strong, healthy relationships and communities. It allows us to connect with others on an emotional level, understanding their joys and sorrows, and providing support when needed. The Quran emphasizes empathy and compassion repeatedly. Allah says, And we have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a mercy to the worlds. Surah Al-Anbiya 21107 The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is described as a mercy to all of creation, embodying the highest levels of empathy and compassion. An evil person who lacks empathy will often exhibit behaviors that are cold, indifferent, or even cruel. They may show no concern for the feelings or sufferings of others and might even take pleasure in causing pain or distress. Such individuals are often self-centered, focusing solely on their own needs and desires without considering the impact of their actions on those around them. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, exemplified empathy and compassion throughout his life. He said, the believers in their mutual love, mercy and compassion are like one body. If one part of the body feels pain, the rest of the body responds with sleeplessness and fever. Sahih Bukhari. This hadith highlights the interconnectedness of the Muslim community and the importance of feeling and responding to each other's pain. An evil person, however, disrupts this harmony by disregarding the feelings and needs of others. Lack of empathy can manifest in various ways, such as through harsh and insensitive remarks, neglect of others' emotional needs, or outright abusive behavior. An individual who lacks empathy may dismiss or belittle the concerns of others, showing no remorse for their actions. This behavior can create a toxic environment where people feel unsupported, invalidated, and undervalued. Moreover, the absence of empathy in a person can lead to harmful societal consequences. Communities thrive on mutual support and understanding. Without empathy, there is a breakdown in social cohesion. 
This can result in increased conflicts, misunderstandings, and a general sense of distrust among people. The Quran warns against such behaviors, emphasizing the importance of maintaining harmonious and compassionate relationships, and cooperate in righteousness and piety, but do not cooperate in sin and aggression. Surah Al-Ma'ida 5.2 in the family context, a lack of empathy can be particularly damaging. Family members who are supposed to be sources of support and love may become sources of pain and distress. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, stressed the importance of kindness and empathy within the family, stating, The best of you are those who are best to their families, and I am the best of you to my family. Sunan al-Tirmidhi in conclusion, the lack of empathy is a significant sign of an evil person as it goes against the fundamental principles of compassion and mercy that Islam upholds. By recognizing this trait, we can better protect ourselves and our communities from the harm caused by such individuals. May Allah guide us to always act with empathy and kindness, reflecting the true spirit of Islam in our interactions with others. Consistent harmful actions, consistent harmful actions are a clear and alarming sign that you are dealing with an evil person. In Islam, every action is weighed and judged based on its impact on oneself and others. The Quran and the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, emphasize the importance of kindness, mercy, and justice. When someone repeatedly engages in harmful behavior, it indicates a fundamental disregard for these Islamic values. Harmful actions can take many forms, including physical violence, verbal abuse, emotional manipulation, and deceit. An evil person often shows a pattern of such behavior, causing pain and suffering to those around them without any sense of remorse or guilt. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, A Muslim is one from whose tongue and hands the other Muslims are safe. Sahih Bukhari This hadith underscores the importance of ensuring that our actions do not harm others. One of the most destructive aspects of consistent harmful actions is their cumulative effect on victims. Repeated exposure to harmful behavior can lead to severe psychological and emotional trauma. Victims may suffer from anxiety, depression, and a diminished sense of self-worth. This is particularly concerning in the context of family and close relationships, where trust and safety are paramount. Islam places great emphasis on the sanctity of these relationships, urging believers to act with kindness and compassion towards their family members and close associates. Moreover, Harmful actions often create a ripple effect, extending beyond the immediate victim to affect the broader community. When an individual consistently engages in harmful behavior, it can foster a climate of fear and distrust. This undermines the social cohesion and mutual support that are essential for a healthy and thriving community. The Quran advises, and do not do mischief on the earth after it has been set in order. Surah Al-A'raf 756, reminding us of our responsibility to maintain harmony and avoid causing harm. In a community or workplace, a person who consistently acts harmfully can disrupt teamwork, lower morale, and create a toxic environment. Their actions can lead to conflicts, reduce productivity, and alienate individuals who might otherwise contribute positively. The negative influence of such an individual can be pervasive, affecting the overall well-being and functionality of the group. Additionally, in the context of justice, Islam strongly condemns any form of oppression and injustice. Allah says in the Quran, O you who have believed, be persistently standing firm in justice, witnesses for Allah, even if it be against yourselves or parents and relatives. Surah An-Nisa 41135 Consistent harmful actions are a form of oppression and injustice as they violate the rights and dignity of others. 
An evil person who engages in such behavior is acting in direct opposition to the principles of fairness and equity that Islam upholds. Furthermore, consistent harmful actions reflect a lack of self-restraint and accountability. An evil person often acts impulsively, driven by selfish motives and desires, without considering the consequences of their actions. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The strong man is not the one who is good at wrestling, but the strong man is the one who controls himself in a fit of rage. Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim this hadith highlights the importance of self-control and the ability to manage one's behavior, traits that are absent in someone who consistently causes harm. In conclusion, recognizing consistent harmful actions as a sign of an evil person is crucial for protecting oneself and others. Islam teaches us to be mindful of our actions and their impact, striving always to act with kindness, justice, and compassion. By identifying and addressing harmful behavior, we can help create a safer and more supportive environment for everyone. May Allah guide us to uphold the values of mercy and justice in all our interactions and protect us from those who seek to cause harm. Disregard for Islamic values. A disregard for Islamic values is a significant indicator that one is dealing with an evil person. Islam provides a comprehensive moral framework that guides the behavior and interactions of its followers. These values include honesty, compassion, justice, humility, and respect for others. When someone consistently ignores or violates these principles, it is a clear sign of their malevolent nature. Islamic values are deeply rooted in the teachings of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. For instance, honesty is a fundamental value emphasized in numerous Quranic verses and hadiths. Allah says, O you who have believed, fear Allah and speak words of appropriate justice. Surah Al Ahzab 3370. An evil person, however, frequently engages in deceit, manipulation, and lies, showing a blatant disregard for the value of truthfulness. Compassion and mercy are also central to Islamic teachings. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is described as a mercy to all of creation. He said, The merciful are shown mercy by the merciful. Be merciful on the earth, and you will be shown mercy from above. Sunan al-Tirmidhi An individual who consistently acts with cruelty, indifference, or harshness towards others is clearly violating this core Islamic value. Such behavior indicates a lack of empathy and a self-centered attitude, which are characteristics of an evil person. Justice is another critical value in Islam. The Quran instructs believers to uphold justice, even if it goes against their own interests or those of their family. Allah says, O oh, you who have believed, be persistently standing firm in justice, witnesses for Allah, even if it be against yourselves or parents and relatives. Surah An-Nisa 4.135 An evil person often engages in unjust actions, such as exploiting others, breaking promises, and oppressing those who are vulnerable. Their actions reflect a deep-seated contempt for fairness and equity. Humility is also a valued trait in Islam. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, No one humbles himself for the sake of Allah, except that Allah raises his status. Sahih Muslim. In contrast, an evil person tends to be arrogant, boastful, and dismissive of others. They seek to elevate themselves at the expense of others, showing a lack of humility and respect for the dignity of their fellow human beings. Respect for others, regardless of their background or status, is emphasized in Islam. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, None of you truly believes until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. An evil person often shows a lack of respect and consideration for others, treating them with contempt and disregarding their rights and feelings. This behavior is in direct opposition to the Islamic principle of treating others with kindness and respect. Furthermore, 
An evil person may disregard the spiritual aspects of Islamic values, such as the importance of prayer, charity, and fasting. These acts of worship are designed to cultivate a sense of discipline, gratitude, and empathy. When someone consistently neglects these practices, it indicates a lack of commitment to their faith and a disregard for the spiritual and moral growth that these practices foster. In conclusion, a disregard for Islamic values is a clear sign of an evil person. By consistently violating principles such as honesty, compassion, justice, humility and respect, such individuals reveal their true nature. Islam teaches us to uphold these values in all aspects of our lives, striving to create a just, compassionate and harmonious society. Recognizing and avoiding those who disregard these values is essential for protecting ourselves and maintaining the integrity of our community. May Allah guide us to live by the noble values of Islam and protect us from those who seek to undermine them. Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters. We've explored some critical signs to help you recognize and protect yourself from dealing with an evil person. By understanding and identifying deception and lies, manipulative behavior, lack of empathy, consistent harmful actions, and a disregard for Islamic values, we can safeguard our hearts and minds from negative influences. Remember, Islam teaches us to uphold truth, justice, compassion, and respect in all our interactions. By staying true to these principles and surrounding ourselves with good company, we strengthen our faith and build a supportive community. May Allah guide us in our relationships, grant us the wisdom to discern good from evil, and protect us from those who wish to harm us. Jazakallah khair for joining me today. Stay safe, stay blessed, and may peace and blessings be upon you all. Assalamu alaikum.